If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Albert Einstein. Hey, it's Kevin again with another Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 9 feature. I'd like you to imagine, if you would, a world without phone numbers. Believe it or not, we're headed in that direction. That's really the promise of URI dialing, where my URI, like Kevin at oneexamonmonth.com, that could be used to email me, instant message me, call me. And this video is going to show you how to set up URI dialing. And it's the final video that I'm giving away to let folks know about my new video series called Nine for Nine. Nine super cool features of Cisco Unified Communications Manager version nine. There's a button below where you can buy this video series right now. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take a look at URI dialing. A trend that we're starting to see in the industry, and it's supported by Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 9, is URI dialing, where URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. And this may largely replace in the future dialing by traditional phone numbers. We can dial by what looks like an email address. And in Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 9, a URI can be an alias to a directory number. So for example, if we have a SIP phone and that SIP phone can dial by number, we can dial a directory number, or we can dial by a URI, we could have our directory number answer to either one. It's really easy to set up. We can just go under a device. Let's go into one of our phones. Let's go into HQ Phone 3 and we'll go into the directory number of that phone. And what we can do in Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 9 is we can add one or more directory URIs. For example, I could say that this phone number of 2003, I could say that this directory number is reachable by the URI of, let's say, Joe at 192.168.1.71. Now that's the IP address of my communications manager server. However, we could have used a name there if I had DNS services set up and I could resolve a DNS name to that IP address. That's probably the more common way you would deploy it in the real world where this would look like an email address. This could be joe at oneexamamonth.com as an example. And just like we can place a directory number in a partition, we can place a directory URI in a partition as well. I'll put this in the internal partition and I could add more than one directory URI. But just as an example, let's save this and let's bring up a couple of phones. First of all, here is HQ Phone 3 and you can see that it's reachable by dialing 2003 and here's a SIP phone. This is a freeware based phone that I downloaded from the internet called Xlight and it supports URI dialing. Let's take a look. Before we do the URI dialing though, let's just dial a regular phone number. Can I dial this Cisco IP communicator by just dialing 2003? Let's try that. Yes, I can. We see that we're getting a call coming in from HQ Phone 5. That's this software based SIP phone. Let's hang that up and now let's try to dial using a URI, a uniform resource identifier. We'll say, I want to dial Joe at 192.168. Dot one dot seventy one. This is the URI, which is an alias to the directory number of 2003. And you can see, even though I dial the URI instead of the directory number, I still see that I have a call coming in from HQ Phone 5. That's a new feature in Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 9, URI dialing. Have you enjoyed these free videos on locations and URI dialing? If you have, then check out my new video series called Nine for Nine. There's a button below where you can purchase right now. You're going to get an email with a link to download the files. They're in MOV format, and that lets you play them on your computer, on your mobile device. So press that button, and I'll see you in just a moment in the Nine for Nine video series.